Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. This is a video which I'm going to explain how you are able to decline missions in EVE Online and not take major standing hits. So you can just decline missions, decline missions, decline missions and only accept the really profitable missions without having to like be able to be locked and without being able to do missions because this is something I do this is something people often tell you a lot to do is to do blitzing missions you know do missions really fast only do the really profitable ones and the way people do this is that they you know they decline their unprofitable missions and then they uh, accept the profitable ones but you this is something I thought that was very counterintuitive when I started EVE Online it's like how do you decline these missions my my standing is just going so bad that I'm not even going to be able to do missions for this agent if I keep declining these missions thing is, uh, there's three ways you can be able to get into a position where you can decline missions like this. Before we go into these three methods, I have to explain to you guys a little bit about uh, how standings work. And it's important to understand this because this forms the kind of basis of how uh, the whole concept works to be able to decline missions like this. So uh, when it comes to standings, you have essentially... Uh, two types of standings so kind of like three but I, after, to me i think mostly about two you got one is fraction standings fraction standings are these standings here so you can, if you click, click on your interactions tab here in the character sheet you see these factions right here factions 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 then underneath you have corporations standings and then you got the uh, agent standings when i started doing missions in the beginning i noticed that if i decline the mission i noticed that all my corporation standing went down a lot all my uh, agent standing went down like the, the agent hated me or the corporation hated me that's something i noticed and that's something that is very annoying because if you if you do decline missions you get bad standings with these guys but the thing is when you decline a mission then it doesn't happen it doesn't take such a big hit to these faction standings so if we take for example sisters of eve for example see here i declined a mission here called massive attack here i took a minus 0.2 standing and that's actually quite a lot of standing right there if we also go into the agent that i did this mission for it was like kilja something yeah here see i got 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 standing that's also quite a bit of standing loss right there however if we go here on the faction standing we can see that it's minus 0 0.03 or 0 0.02 that's like hardly any standing loss so that's this is how i'm able to just decline missions the reason is because uh, when you're doing a mission it only takes the standing into account of like the highest denominator you can think of the way factions work is the factions is like the big alliance and then within a faction there's multiple types of corporations so when it comes to servant sisters of eve this is like the alliance or faction of the sisters of eve then they've got multiple corporations one is sisters of eve and i think they've also got some other kind of one called like uh, first aid food supplies or something but the point is that the this is like the faction the alliance so to say and then there's corporations underneath if you've got good standings with the uh, the faction then it doesn't matter if you've got really crap standing to the corporation you can still do missions and that's why it's so good because when you decline missions you take very little hits to your standings and the faction standings another example is for example the galanta federation uh the these guys have a ton of uh, galantic corps like the uh, i think it's like the Gal federal navy all these kind of stuff you can see here T taking very little standing losses from declining missions and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, it makes me even though i have craps uh, galanta stand well not right now i don't have so bad galanta uh, corporation standings but even if you have bad standings with the corporation or the agent then it really does not matter so much see this i've got federation navy right here it's only 4.0 standing uh not particularly good but then you got i see i've got really good of this 7.6 standing of the galanta federation the point is okay the faction standings is what's going to allow you to do the missions and decline them they don't take such a beating uh, when you decline missions the things that will take a beating are the corporation standings and the agent standings and the corporation standings and the agent standings are essentially the same uh, more or less like how much they are affected uh, so if you decline a mission from some agent then they're going to really not like that they're going to in the same way with the corporation the only thing is that the faction is not going to take such a big standing hit so then um this is the thing that you have to also understand is that 
just because it says minus 0 0.01 like this doesn't mean you can like unlimitedly uh, or like for an unlimited amount of time just uh, decline emissions like this because obviously eventually this 0 0.03 is going to accumulate but it will theoretically not just because of how uh, we're, get, we're also going to gain standings by doing other missions. But the main reason then you can't just continue to decline emissions like this is because when it comes to the corporation standings here, because we want minus quite a bit right here, you see it goes down a bit. Uh, if we keep doing this, if you go to minus two, and the same counts for the agent as well. So if uh, this, this agent right here, Kiljas here, goes to minus zero point uh, minus two point zero, then we will not be able to do missions. You can see here, this agent will no longer offer missions. So you can see that here. Then also, uh, when it comes to the corporations of the Sisters of Evil, let's see that corporation here. If we go here, minus two point zero, it says limited to level one agents even regardless of derived standings and the derived standings means that like the standings that we're able to do the missions are derived from the faction so like you know how i've got good sisters of eve or servant sisters of eve like faction standings because of those derived standings i'm able to do agents even though you see there this here 5.0 standings to be able to do level 4 missions but my fact my standings of the sisters of eve corporation is only 4.8 but because I've got these blue ones here, this is like the derived standings from Servant Sisters of Eve. I can even do level 5 missions. You know, so you see here, these, the blue is marking how much is coming from the faction standings. But if I go to 0. minus 2.0 here in the corporation, then they'll hate me so much. The corporation will hate me, or the Asian will hate me so much that regardless of what the Alliance thinks of me, they really don't like me. So they're not going to give me missions anyway. So the point is... You can decline missions as much as you want, as long as you do not go to minus 2.0. So that still gives you a very big buffer, because obviously when you're doing missions, you do get a lot of standings as well. So you really have to decline a lot of missions to get to this point, and that rarely happens to me. Uh, really, it hardly ever happens to me. So that's why I can decline almost all the time missions. So that's how uh, you can do missions by not taking massive standings hits. You get good faction standings. And something to understand about faction standings that is important also is that the, they're different kind of like other factions that interact with other ones. And I've made a picture here that will illustrate this a little bit. So you can think of the different factions in EVE Online is that uh, you've got kind of like two sides, so to say. I mean, there are other sides, but like th this is to put it very simply. You've got two sides. One is the Amar and Kalari side. The other is the Galente and Minmatar side. And the thing is, if you get good standings with, say, Galente, you will also like the faction Galenta Federation faction. Then you'll also get good standings with the Minmatar and Sisters of Eve. Sisters of Eve actually is also like uh, kind of like a part of this side. There are many other small uh, factions that I've not included here, but this is just to like put it very simply. The reason I'm including Sisters of Eve is because it's a very popular uh, corporation or faction to do missions for. But the thing is, like, say if I get good Kaldari faction standings, I'm also going to get good. Uh, Amar faction standings. Uh, if I get good Minmatar faction standings, I'll also get good uh, Galenta standings. And the opposite happens as well. If I get good Minmatar standings, I'm also going to get bad uh, Amar standings, a bad Kaldari standings. So they like they they see that oh you're doing missions for these guys. Oh I hate you guys. You know like that. If I do missions for Sisters of Eve, then the Galenta and Minmatar they're going to be really happy. They're going to get good standings from that. And then the Kaldari and Amar they're not going to like that. So we can also demonstrate this here. Like say for example here. There we go. You see this? I completed this mission right here that gave me a lot of faction standings. You see there? On the 9th of October. And then the Kaldari saw that and they're like, no, I hate that. Same thing with the Amar. You see that? Okay, it's not updated right here. But the uh, the Kaldari, they did not like that. The Minmatar, on the other hand, they did like that. You see that? They're on the same side. So you can see that? Minmatar is here. So they like that. They're like, oh yeah, good job. You, you help with our friends. Okay, so you have to understand that they are kind of interactors, so to say. Uh, now we don't uh, we don't we don't see it here in the Sisters of Eve, but it does also work in the same way that um, in the Sisters of Eve, they are also good friends with the uh, Galente and Minmatar. So, okay, so now we've established a bit how the how you're able to decline missions whenever you want. You have to get good faction standings, and you have to also understand that faction standings interact. So, like if you do stuff for the Ahmad, the Galente not going to like that. Uh, the or the you do stuff for the Kaldari, the Minmatar, Galenta, not gonna like that. Like they've got they're like the big buddies uh, groups here. And Sisters of Eve is just one of these guys. There are also a bunch of other corporations on the other side. I just didn't include them because just the Sisters of Eve is a very popular co missioning corporation. Also, something to understand is that there are multiple skills 
when it comes to the faction standings or just standings in general that are good to have. Uh, this social skill is good to have. Like I'm a bit of a scrub. I've only got level four, but you can very good to have to level five. You get very good st like more standings increase from this. It just increases the efficiency of your all work all the time. But this just proves that you don't need to have perfect skills to do this. I've got level four. It's all right. Then you can also train this connection skill right here. I'm also a scrub. You can see here. To be honest, I got pretty trash skills. But you can. This is what I mean. I've done it, and I've got trash skills. You can probably do it with even better skills. So. How do you then get these faction standings? How the heck do you get them? So I thought first you just do missions, but you hard, you don't really get any standings from doing regular missions. You just get corporation standings. So like if I do Sisters of Eve uh, missions, then I get you know Sisters of Eve standings. You can see here, but I'm not particularly getting a lot of uh, Servant Sisters of Eve standings. If we go in a corporation that I actually do the for, there's, the, there's one here called the Scop here. You see this? This is a Galenta corporation. I was doing standings here. But if you see here, there's not, not so much. Only one of these is giving me standings. It's a bit complicated to get the faction standings. Not as straightforward. But there are three essential ways. Okay? Three essential ways. And the, the way it works is that if you get good standings with someone else, the other one is not going to like that, and so forth. So if I say, for example, if I wanted to get good Sisters of Eve faction standings, uh, I would then, um, I could also work on my Galenta faction standings. You kind of work in between. So the first way... I'd recommend you get the faction standings. And this is what I did as well. I think it's very good. You go and do career agents. The career agents, it sounds stupid. Maybe if you're an ex experienced player to do career agents, but they actually are very easy missions. They can only be done once, but they give you very good faction standings. The thing is, uh, often people skip these, and even if they, you have done them, there maybe is for another corporation that you haven't done them for. So there's, there's like, there exists multiple career agents per faction. And especially, like, say, for example, you've done all the Kaldari uh, career agents, but you can do the Amar ones as well to boost your Kaldari standings a bit as well. So you can uh, access these by going in the agency, agents, missions, career agents. You can see the ones here. Like, these are the ones I have not done. These are Marian ones right here. Then there's also a way you can also do it just uh, Google the career agents and you can go on this career agents in like eve uni wiki scroll down then you'll see where these career agents are located so say let's say for example i don't know i want to do uh amar amarian uh, career agents then i you see that there in these three uh, stations right here the career agents exist so we could do all of them and just go here so you can see here these are the guys we talk to if we go to the station right here you can just uh, copy paste this we just go here Control c we just go in our map and we can just paste it right here there we go now we just set destination for this and you can see that we're set to this agent or this station right here and it's got all the eight career agents we can do that keep in mind you can only do the career agents once so like obviously it's just a one-time thing you can't just like continuously do them and get the faction standings that way but it's a really good thing to do in the beginning especially if i've never done them to get that initial boost to your faction standings so you got the career agents. That's, that's number one. Okay, we said we had three ways of getting our faction standings. Okay, number one, career agents. Okay, number two, the Cosmos agents. Okay, so if you just Google like Cosmos agents Eve Online, you'll find this Uni Wiki page right here. So if you go into this, you can then find where all these Cosmos agents are. And the thing is, Cosmos agents, you know, you can only do them. You, you can only do them once, like the career agents. So it's not like a thing you can just farm a limited amount, but there's a lot of them. And you can do them and you get good faction standings. So say, for example, we want to do a mark, uh, we'll get good mark standings, like I said before. Then we would go here and we would look for ones that we can do. So you can see here that we would need to find one that we have the sufficient standings to be able to do. For example, this one right here. And then we can see that there's these different agents and it tells you where they're located. And we'll go to these locations. We can just copy, we just like, you know, highlight this, copy, paste it, and put it into our, you know, uh, our map. And then we go there. And then uh, the thing is with these with these agents they have then this mission so you can see they've got these missions over here and they're quite simple missions often and the thing is especially when it comes to these high level agents you'll notice that they often involve you bringing tags so you can see here they want you to give sanchez silver tags and the thing is that's a bit of an issue with the cosmos agents is that they give good faction standings but these tags are quite expensive so you would have to then farm a ton of npcs but that'll take a ton of time really i don't think you should do that just buy the tags from the market but they do cost quite a bit you, you they do cost quite a bit so you have to have that into consideration when doing these 
So they, you can see they're a bit varied, a little bit random missions. The point is that they do give uh, pretty good uh, stand or faction standings, so to say. They don't, they're not just like corporation standings, but they give faction standings, and that's the main thing about them. As you can see there's a little bit of varied things you do here. You can see like, you've got some things to kill here as well. See here, we've got these Sancho gold tags. So if we copy this, and let's just see how much they go for the market. Sancho gold tag. 200,000 they want us to get 30 of them so I mean it does cost a bit you know we have to have 30 of these so that'll be then 6 million I think there are some that can even go for more so there we go we got these Cosmos agents as I said before you just go in the uni wiki right here and you can find them here and keep in mind that some of these can be in low sex so you want to just be a bit careful right there also something to really understand by, by these uh, Cosmos agents is that you need uh, you can't you shouldn't talk to them if you don't intend on doing the mission because it says here, you see it, do not talk to the agent if you don't intend to run them because there's got this like seven day timer that they'll expire when you start talking to them. So now usually, you know, when you talk to an agent, you, it only starts going when you do accept, but here it's even when you talk to them. So do not talk to these guys before like start conversation. Let's just uh, give an example right here. If we go in uh, Chari Shakai. You see here, I've got him in the search results here. And uh, we could start a conversation. You wouldn't even start a conversation with this guy before you even uh, intend to do the mission. Because then you've got that time on. Because as I said before, you can only do these missions once. You, you won't be able to keep doing them. So you just want to do them when you want to get those faction standings. Now, this is the third way to get faction standings. And this is the one you can do over and over again. And this is what I did a lot. because And it's a very like easy and simple way. Is that you do your L4 missions like usual. Or not L4 missions. Maybe if you're doing L3 missions or L2 missions. You know, it depends what missions you're doing. But I do L4 missions the most because they're very profitable um, what happens is that every 16 missions you do you get something called a storyline mission now a storyline mission is like a regular mission the thing is uh, it's a little bit special in that you get often a special reward like maybe some kind of implant that's worth quite a bit or maybe you get a little bit of extra isk for it uh, the thing is when you do these missions you get massive faction standings here so you can see here if we go on our interactions and then we go into Galenta Federation. You can see here, I did this materials for war preparation. This is a storyline mission right here. And that's why I got a big boost here. So you can see here, these are all the missions I declined. And then this one standing boost here, this was from that storyline mission. And you can see that one storyline mission accounted for way more than all these declined missions right here. So you really will never run out of these faction standings, even if you decline a ton of missions. It's just the corporation standings and the agent standings you have to worry about not going over to minus two. But... You never have to worry about the, uh, these um, these faction standings going too low. They always remain good, especially if you do the actual. You, you actually like do the storyline agents you get, and the way to know if you get a storyline agent is you go into the notification feed right here, and you'll see some kind of notification saying that like, oh, I have a special mission for you uh, that you do, and then you just talk to that agent. Now I can't see any in my notification feed because I've done all of the ones I have currently got. Here is the previous ones I've got. You can see in my mail. If you open mail and go in agents. See, so yeah, I need of your services if they see for a very special mission. So it says here, please come meet me at this place right here. Then you will be able to talk to this agent and do the mission right here. So you just do these and that's it. You get the faction standings, the very good faction standings that are needed to be able to decline missions. Something to also understand that I realized that is that you maybe think that, oh, you know, storyline missions after every 16 missions, you get a storyline mission. Then maybe, as we'll, maybe I'll do just the L1 missions, the, the really easy ones, because I can do them very fast to get those 16 missions. And that is possible. The thing is, I noticed that when I do the L4 missions, the you get like L4 storyline agents. So if you do L3 missions, you get L3 storyline agents, etc, etc. So I've noticed that actually the storyline agents that you get from L4 missions are a lot better than the... You'll give a bigger boost to faction standings than the, like the lower tier ones, like the L3, the L2, etc. So like the, the higher the tier missions you do, or the higher level missions you do, the better st storyline agent you'll get, they'll give a bigger boost to your um, your sta your faction standing. So that's why I would still do the highest tier ones uh, you can do properly. It's just that maybe it'll take a bit of time. But then again, if you do are doing the highest level mission agent you can do, you'll probably get a lot more isk as well, just in general from doing all these missions as well. So I would do the highest level agents you can do to be able to farm these storyline agents. So every 16 missions you do get a storyline agent, you do it get the nice boost of faction standings okay so that was a video right here how you can get to the point where you can decline almost any mission you want to be able to do those really good nice profitable missions blitzing missions and so you don't have to worry about losing your ability to do missions when you decline missions so if we're going to summarize here first way career agents second way the cosmos agents third way 
the storyline agents. Every 16 standard missions, you will be getting the storyline agent in your inbox or notifications bar right here. So, hope this was helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.